Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana and I'm so happy to meet you. So today guys, I am about to try this Impression Brow Henna in the shade Chocolate Brown. I purchased this at Pennywise, you would have seen in my last Pennywise haul. And if you haven't seen that haul yet, then I would link it in the cards up above me right here for you guys to see that. These are literally like, I have nothing on my brows at the moment and this is literally what my brows look like. You see, they need a little bit of help, right? So up close, they don't look that, that bad. But uh, yeah, from a distance, I look like, like just forehead alone. <laughs> right. Anyway, you guys, um, I'm excited to give this um, brow henna a try. So if you'd like to see how I do that, then keep on watching. But before you do, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment or a question in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And be sure to click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me. And let's get right into the video. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features You'll find a Okay, so this impression brow henna So immediately as you open the box This is what the box looks like It's a natural tinting for eyebrows Available in 10 unique shades These are the shades that are available here see how oh, if you guys can see that there these are the shades that are available 10 shades here um gives a long lasting effect and 100 percent coverage stays on here for up to six weeks and on to skin for up to seven days contains herbs like amla and shikaki which give vitality and strength is incredibly gentle on application and results in well conditioned brows so I'm really excited to try this. Let's, uh, as I open the box, you see the contents. By the way, guys, I paid $89.95 for this in Pennywise. So in the box, when you open the box, you get this little um, mixing container. I wanna believe it has up to 10 mLs on it. I've never seen a spoon this tiny. It's 0 0.05 ml. <laughs> Look how cute it is. It's cute, right? Bro, henna. I think it's a liquid. Does this it a liquid? No, it looks like a powder. Not sure. But this is what it looks like. The container is 10 grams and when you open it i'm curious to know what's inside it so this is how it comes packaged i'm really curious to know if it's a liquid or powder or whatever so this is hard to come out a few moments later okay so what feels like an eternity later <laughs> um i finally got the little cap out for sure, none of this is going to spoil once this is inside. That's much I can tell you. It was very hard to get out. It's a smell, it's a powder and it has no smell. So it's odorless, you guys. Not bad. And last but not least, what's inside is this instructions. So let's see if I can find. Brow Henna is a revolutionary product which is perfect for people who have no time to apply makeup daily, like moi. It colors the eyebrows, hairs, as well as the skin underneath, thereby eliminating the need for daily touch-ups. It is great for accentuating your natural features by tinting and shaping your brows. Brow Henna is available in 11 shades. 11 though on here says 11 but on the box says 10 unique shades and let's count the shades actually 
So it comes in black, graphite, light brown, medium brown, dark brown, chestnut brown, chocolate brown, caramel brown, brownie, golden blonde. Yeah, 10 shades, but the, I guess this was a misprint because they say 11 shades here. The color on your eyebrows lasts for 20 to 30 days and on the skin up to a week or more depending on the skin type. So step one. Clean the skin and eyebrows with water or brow primer. I've already done that. Step two, mix a required portion of brow henna with tiny drops of warm water until you have a paste cons similar in consistency to soy sauce. Its density affects color saturation, so it should not be too watery or too thick. So some science here in this thing. Step number three, apply on the eyebrows using a brush and leave in until it is fully dry, which is for 30 minutes. Step four, remove the paste using a cotton pad moistened with warm water. Bear with me, I'm bit. I don't have a counter in my bathroom and I'm in my bathroom doing this because I don't want mess anywhere, which probably shouldn't be wearing a white t-shirt but I mean like how bad can it really be they didn't give any specific amount like how much I would need for my brow so I'm basically just gonna average right I'm pouring out I'm pouring out 2.5 mls I think this looks like enough right see I feel like this is pointless <laughs> Oh boy, I think I'm just gonna use a teaspoon. Oh, now it smells like a bush medicine. So the powder by itself and from the directly from the container does not have a scent, but when you mix it with the warm water, oh, it smells bad. But I personally don't think that people who are sensitive to smell would really be affected by this because I mean, it literally smells like a terrible forest. <laughs> that's the best I can say. But yeah, I does this look um, soy sauce like? Um, I'm not sure. Look at this. Is it too thick? I feel like it's too thick still. Because they still like soy sauce, but. Uh, I feel like soy sauce is more watery than this. Let's put a tiny droplet of water again. So, so far it feels gel-like, like a gel-like consistency. And I personally think that even this does not look like soy sauce, but I think this consistency should be good enough. So I'm gonna use this concealer brush from the brand Blossom. Don't know who that is, but this is what it looks like. I've never used this brush before and I've had it for like years. So I'm going to use this to apply. This looks rather dark for chocolate brown. I mean, they say it's chocolate brown, but um, I feel like this could possibly be the wrong brush. this look let's put a little bit more in front here it's all applied and look how much more I have remaining I literally used way too much like this container I'm already seeing that this container can you can probably do like a million eyebrows with <laughs> no not a million but I'm thinking that you can possibly do like approximately 100 you can probably get approximately like a hundred applications from that bottle and I'm not exaggerating that's literally literally how much I'm thinking that you can have but anyway you guys I have to leave this one for 30 minutes so I am going to have my dinner and then I'll check back with you guys in 30 minutes to remove and we'll see what my eyebrows look like after
30 minutes later this is what the brows my brows look like at the moment it's very hard almost like a clear face mask so like I can fully like just pass my hand and nothing you see remove the paste using a cotton pad moistened with warm water wish me luck should I do one brow at a time? I feel like one brow at a time because knowing me, I mean, I may cause havoc by doing both at the same time. So let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I am impressed. I feel like there's still some more on my okay okay now it's all out you guys look at that wow <laughs> let's do the back side okay I literally just have a spot missing there <sighs> you guys I am actually really impressed by this product. So now in the morning, I literally just have to fix my little patch there. I am legit. <laughs> but you guys, oh, I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. I have a mirror on the wall this way. Look at how this looks. I am so impressed. I really am, honestly, uh, honestly. So. They say that it's supposed to stay on my skin for up to seven days. So basically every seven days I'm supposed to reapply this. But um, if you have lots of eyebrow hairs, then they say that the it stays on, on your eyebrow hairs for up to 30 days. So I am going to be back. Like I'm not ending this video here just yet. I am going to be back in seven days to give you guys an update as to how this went. I love it. Honestly, I really do. I love it. I am impressed by impression brow henna. Okay guys, see y'all in seven days. Hey guys, so today is the first day, well, not really the first day, what had happened was, do you know some, the facial products that I use, like my skincare line that I use, it's uh, acid based, well, it removed all the acid, removed all the um, residue from the henna and I had to do over a new set last night, so this is this is like a day after i'm gonna give you guys updates every day up until the seven days right so this is day number one yesterday would have been day number zero this is day number one of the brow situation so and you also know what my eyebrows look like before so yeah see you guys tomorrow for another update Hey guys, so it is literally seven days later. I know I said that um, Kai's passing, sorry about that. So I know I said that I was going to come back to you guys every day, but see, yeah, that didn't happen. Update, <laughs> as you guys can see, it's been seven days later and let's just go closer. Literally, all of the product is gone from my eyebrows. Also, it was literally gone like within two days after. I guess that's why I didn't come to update you guys like every day after, but I wanted to come back on the seventh day to tell you guys exactly, to show you guys actually how it looked after the seven days because it's meant to be for seven days. So I must say that I love the initial application, but it did not stay on my eyebrows past two days. And I'm not quite sure if it's because my skin is, because I have oily skin, I'm not quite sure what. If you have dry skin, then you could probably give this a try and let me know know or if you have tried it let me know in the comment section down below right and let me know if, if it is something that you guys will be trying i'm not sure if i'll ever buy it back again because i mean like it didn't work that long i mean i will use it out but 
it just means I have to be reapplying it more often than I assumed I would or that they advertised that I would but anyway that's my verdict thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if it helped I'll leave a comment or a question in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already be sure to click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.